So hey there, beautiful people. In the last 30 years, Americans have reduced their consumption of dietary fats. And guess what happened? Uh huh. Obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and pretty much every major disease has significantly risen. It's just true. But we are breaking fat today. I am going to give you all of the benefits of healthy fats. There's so many of them. I actually had to stop myself. I had so many. And also, if you stick with me to the end, I am going to give you the my favorite healthy fats. It's a really, really long list, and you will find something that you like on that list, plus the serving sizes. So you're going to want to stick around because it is coming right up. Hey there, beautiful people. This is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist, and nutrition detective. So I just started this this year. It's a quarterly newsletter, and I'm going to link a link below. If you would like to sign up for that newsletter, you can do so. It's just really chock full of interesting, good information, recipes that are going to benefit you and I'm not gonna I don't I don't have time to do it monthly so it just comes out quarterly but I am gonna be doing one pretty soon so please sign up for that also subscribe to this channel join our YouTube family we are growing like crazy I can't believe how much we're growing and we'd love to have you comment below that you're a new subscriber I'd love to meet you and also just follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter and remember that I do counsel people all over the country I mean for, I, from California to Maine to Florida it's crazy and I, I love meeting new people and I really love helping people and also I do have a dispensary that they actually allow my YouTube followers and my Facebook followers, all my followers, to um, purchase supplements from, which is wonderful at 20% discount. It's 20% less than you would pay at online or on a health food store. So check that out as well. There's a link below. Now, we know, everybody knows, y'all know, right? Y'all know that fats have been demonized in the past really 50 years, and that's actually that actually comes from very faulty research of the 1950s by a man named Ansel Keys. We won't go into that. But, um, you, you know, the, especially the dreaded saturated fat and cholesterol. Well, a couple things that we need to know about fats. I'm not going to really do a whole fat thing. I did a whole fat series and I'm probably going to do more of that in the future. But remember that dietary cholesterol doesn't drive up your lipids. Like eating eggs doesn't really have a whole lot to do with, with your lipid level. And remember, too, that your cholesterol doesn't have a whole lot to do with heart disease, believe it or not. Triglycerides, yeah, and your good cholesterol not being high, yeah, but not really your cholesterol levels. So what we know is that fat is not all created equal. They are completely different and some are good and some we need to completely avoid. We have saturated fats, which come from animal and plant sources. We have cholesterol that only, only comes from animal sources. We have monounsaturated fats and we have two classifications of polyunsaturated fats. We have the omega-6, like the vegetable oils of the world that we really need to reduce greatly or eliminate because we eat too much of them. And then we have the omega, the polyunsaturated omega-3s, which we need to get more of. They're anti-inflammatory and they do all kinds of great things in our bodies. And then we have the trans fats or the hydrogenated oils are supposed to be taken out of our food supply. I'm still seeing Cool Whip on the shelves. It's not a good thing, but those are the types of fat. So just remember this, that if a product has fat in it, normally except for like butter and things like that. Normally it's made up of several different types of fat. For example, an avocado is 77% fat with about 63% coming from monounsaturated fats and about 15% mm, about coming from saturated fats and then another 11 or 12% or so coming from polyunsaturated fats. So it's not just, most products don't just have one type of fat, but they have a predominant type of fat and that is what we normally 
think of when we think of that product. Now, this is exciting. I am giving you seven benefits today of healthy fats, all right? And I, I mean, these should just really make my case that we need good, healthy fat in our diet. I can't live without these. I, I, the, for all of the reasons that I'm just about to tell you. And number one is that they increase nutrient absorption. Now I have had vegan patients in my office and, and you can really do veganism well. It's not that you can't, but I had one recently that had so many nutrient deficiencies. And one of the big reasons is there wasn't enough fat in this person's diet, especially omega-3s. I mean, they were deficient in D and, and lots of minerals as well. And they were also deficient in vitamin A. And that is why, the reason for that is because these these um, nutrients cannot be absorbed, A, D, K, E, and some of our minerals cannot be absorbed without that fat. So we need more of that. They're crucial for our bodies. Healthy fats also promote energy and stabilize blood sugars. So fat is a slow burning form of energy. It gives you sustained energy. Unfortunately, carbohydrates are quick energy and they do not sustain your energy for very long. Even good carbs, if they have more fiber in them, they're a little bit better, but not really good at stabilization. Plus, fat also stabilizes our blood sugar, so it's great for prevention of diabetes and, um, and blood sugar issues. And then number three, is it aids in weight loss. Now that's a biggie. It's so, that's one of the big exciting things about what I do with people is I want, when they're, people are trying to lose weight, I want, I don't, I want, I don't want this to be for like a year. I want this to be until they die, that they never have to diet again. And fats are one of those, those things that really help them to stick with a diet. Now they are much more calorie dense much more, in fact, twice as calorie dense as a carbohydrate or a protein. But here's the good news, is that you don't eat as much fat as you would a protein. For example, a normal protein size would be like four ounces, right? If you were to eat four ounces of fat at a meal, that's like a stick of butter. I have never eaten a whole stick of butter at any meal. So that doesn't really make sense that, that we're so afraid of the calories and fat because we just don't eat as much of them, but, they, but they're have been studies after studies really relating like a high carb diet to a, a higher fat diet and all, every single one of them, the high fat diet, the people were able to lose weight more readily and stick to that particular eating plan. Number four is that healthy fats create satiety and flavor. Now this kind of goes along with the weight loss thing in that we're just less hungry. We're less hungry when we're eating those good fats and we're not, it's, it's easier to stick with and, and we're not eating the house down and having so many cravings. Also, you know, digestion is just slower with fats. It takes more to break them down and go through all those processes and it may, just makes us feel fuller longer. So we're more satiated. Also, I mean, we all know it, right? Fats, healthy fats make food taste better. And so we're, we're gonna enjoy our food more. Number five, healthy fats support brain health and, ner and our nervous system. Did you know that your brain and, and, and the uh, mitochondria in your brain <laughs> has the highest concentration of cholesterol in your body as well as high levels of saturated fat? Part of the, uh, the nerve, which is in the myelian sheath of the nerve, is made primarily of lipids and fats. And studies show that these good fats support our brain and our nervous system, unlike the omega-6 vegetable oils that are inflammatory and do damage to both of them. And then number six, healthy fats promote hormone balance. This is really important. We do not want our cholesterols to be, our, our overall cholesterol to be so low. I really 
My heart goes out to many of my patients who are on statin drugs when they're coming in with an overall cholesterol of like in the 130s. That's craziness because you can't synthesize, you need cholesterol in order to synthesize hormones, especially sex hormones. And it is absolutely cr crucial for that. I have never seen anyone on a satin drug have hormone balance, never. You know, y'all know I'm not a big fan. Only for a tiny bit of the population should really should be on a statin drug. If you want more information about that and how the studies get very skewed and some of our doctors are reading studies where the, the data is not accurate and it's manipulated, read um, some of the things by Dr. Kelly Brogan, MD, and, and you, will, you will figure this out that many of us are put on statins, especially women. Women... It's really dangerous for women to be on statins. Number seven is that healthy fats build your immune system. We know that saturated fats like coconut oil and grass-fed butter help to increase um, white blood cells so that they can recognize and destroy invading bacteria and viruses. So they're antiviral, antibacterial. And so they help with building your immune system. Okay. So here's my list. Here's Lindy's list of my favorite healthy fats. I might have missed a few. Please forgive me. If you know of one that I missed, please, um, please say it below. Please comment below because I would love to know um, if I missed one. But I, I think I got them all. So I'm going through the list right now. Now this is, it would be great for you and your health to get at least two servings of these per meal and more even would be better. So here they go. The first one is grass-fed butter, which is one tablespoon, avocados, a half a medium avocado, avocado oil, one tablespoon, MCT oil, one tablespoon, organic coconut oil, one tablespoon, nuts, but not peanuts. Peanuts are legumes. They are not nuts. Two tablespoons of nuts, seeds, chia, flax, hemp seeds, three tablespoons, fatty fish, about four ounces, ghee, one tablespoon, organic palm oil, one tablespoon, olives, three large or five small, extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon, expeller of pressed sesame oil, one tablespoon, walnut oil, one tablespoon, and yes, lard. Yes, you actually heard me correctly. I don't think that lard is the problematic, horrible food that we once thought it was. I don't really cook with it that often, but it you know, really would be fine, especially if you're cooking it with some vegetables because it'll help the nutrient absorption of those wonderful vegetables. I know, I've lost my mind. I know, I have. But those good fats are gonna help you with all of those things and more. I actually didn't want this video to go on for an hour and a half, so I, I stopped at those seven. So I hope, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get more healthy fats into your life. Please subscribe, like this video if you do. I would so appreciate that. Comment below if you're new to the channel. Love to meet you. And just remember, remember that everyone deserves the freedom to live their best life. I will see you in the next video.